If we get this video to 750 likes, I will come to the Shields. I will buy all of these crazy topwater lures and we'll catch a fish on every single one of them. We're not going to catch a fish on two of them, every single one of them. Enjoy the video. What's going on guys? We have driven how far did we drive? Nine? Nine hours to probably, this is Emma, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> What's up? We've driven nine hours to Shields in, where are we? Frisco? Frisco? Plano? I think it's Plano. We're in Plano, I don't know. We're north, we're right in between what of Dallas it? and Fort Worth. North of the both of them. But we're here at Shields. It is apparently the biggest outdoor store in North America, probably in the world. I saw it on Google when we were on the way up here and I was like, we have to come here. We're actually here to get a boat, which you'll see that in a later video. But we're gonna walk through this store. I've done it at the Bass Pro in Memphis, which is like the biggest Bass Pro in the world. It's a pyramid. This one is just a regular building, but it is, it's huge. I think there's a, there's supposed to be a Ferris wheel inside. So we're gonna go check it out, look on the inside of it, see what we can get into. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We might even record a second video while we're here because it's so big. It's big enough for probably four or five videos. We're going to record a second one, buy some fishing gear out of Shields. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. Let's see what we can find on the inside of this Magnum store. You know we're in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Hold up. Can I go get my thing out of the car? My belt. Maybe you have gym shorts on. I know. But I was going to put it on. All right. Never mind. I have a belt buckle, but she won't let me put it on. You know, women. So yeah, let's see what's shorts. inside. I know, but the gym shorts can rock the belt buckle. Whatever. No, it can't. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I was definitely the kid that would be like, Dad, look, Nemo, whenever you see a little clownfish like that. Also, There's Dory. See? <laughs> There's actually a legit full Ferris wheel here. You want to ride the Ferris wheel? Yeah. We're gonna ride the Ferris wheel, but uh, so it says all sports and there's fishing stuff here. So that officially ends the debate of if fishing is a sport or not. There's three stories. Two. Two. Welcome in. Uh, not getting kicked out either, so I guess Shields is camera friendly, but there's two stories. There's the rock. There's a whole bunch of fishing stuff. So we're gonna just walk around and see what we can find. I don't know, there's so much in here to look at. Shaq's autograph shoe. Oh my God. $900. Kobe Bryant signed basketball. Long live. Oh, that'd be worth buying. Fifty-four hundred dollars. Mike Tyson's boxing gloves. Mike Tyson. There's no way that's real. For two hundred dollars, no this way. signature is worth way more than two hundred dollars. <laughs> Do my boy Iron Mike go all. <laughs> all right. So first thing you see is like the clothes and whatnot when you walk in. You'd be you'd be first round like twentieth pick. First round, first pick. First round, first pick. <laughs> so we're going to a Rangers game tomorrow night. We need t-shirts, so we're gonna get those. Ooh, those are nice. And then we're gonna we're just exploring today. We don't really know what we're looking for. Look at this. Look at this electric bike. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> So we figured out that most of the downstairs is just clothes and whatnot, and upstairs is, I think, fishing. I'm not sure, but we're about to go up here and find out. If we can find the outdoor stuff, we're in the money. But if there's no outdoor stuff up here, thanks for clicking on the video. We're probably gonna end it here. What do you think so far? We've seen a toy section, a small bowling alley. Let's go see the toy section one more time. Pretty much any Nerf gun that you could ever want. Also, there's a huge Lego section over there. I promise you guys we're gonna get to the fishing section eventually, but this is just so, it's supposed to be like an outdoor sporting goods store, I think personally, but they have everything. This is just a boy coming from Alabama. I'm used to Bass Pro and Walmart fishing section, so this is, this is totally different. Or dicks. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Toys R Us, dicks. They probably bought. furniture store. Yeah. They probably bought Toys R Us, sold out a mattress firm, and they just put everything in here. But the outdoor stuff, I see it, it's right there. So we're gonna go over there. All right, boys, we have made it to the outdoor stuff, and I have a huge smile on my face because I'm gonna buy me some Sitka waders for $33,000, and I'm gonna be happy. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Check it out. Anything you could possibly want, Shields in Texas. There's, we're not paid to be here or anything. It's just cool. We also got chalk. Emma 
Emma got the chalk, so. All right, um, we're here for fishing. We're not here for the sick gear, even though it is very nice to look at. It's spicy rooster. It's like sriracha hot sauce. Uh, fishing, 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 fishing. Where are you? Hey, there's Mr. Seth. That's who we were waiting for. Woo, let's go Seth. All right, guys, so they have a pretty big gun deal here. I'm not gonna show that, because you know how that can go. I don't want to lose everything that we've worked so hard for to one gun section and shield. So if you want to see that, you're gonna have to come and sit. Oh, fishing, we found it. Ninja stars, we need those. Self-defense. I want all the Avril Garcia combos, one of each, one of each rod and all the reels. Yeah, guys, they pretty much have anything that you could ever want. St. Croix, Abu, Temple Fort. I'm sure that might be like a Texas local company. Huh, that's what we're looking for right here. Veritas, that one feels like, what is that? 6.6 six medium, I have that one actually. But I don't have it with those grips. I wish mine had the gray grips on it. It's pretty sweet. Let's see what else we can find. What is this one right here? Revo X, rod only, sweet. Normally that rod probably comes as a combo with the reel, but that time it's, or here it's just the rod. Oh, sweet. I wish mine had these gray grips on them. That is, that's bougie. Got the Vengeance combos, how much are those? Let's see if they're overpriced or not. Ooh, 59. I don't know. Walmart probably selling them for like 50. I don't know about 59 shields. I'm not sure how I feel about 59. Is that a bait? Bait tank? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the dead ones. <laughs> In the arms <laughs> of an angel. Fly away. RP. Look at it. This one's stuck to the vent. Gulp. So guys, I'm going to North Carolina in the next couple weeks. We're going to try to get on the inshore slam redfish. Snapper, no, redfish, not snapper. Redfish, sea trout, and flounder. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be using a lot of gulp while I'm down there, so I might need to get a bag while I'm here. Ooh, look at those crabs. That's not a freshwater deal right there. I had to get some, might have to scoop us some gulp. That's like perfect travel rod. Look at the tip. Let's see what that is. Five, six, probably like extra, extra light. That's like perfect for bluegill. You have to fight your life on a bluegill with this thing. Will you get me one, please? Please, mom, please. That's a no. <laughs> so if you won't give me a rod, will you give me a reel? I want that abu down there, the black and red one. Can I get it? Not today. Not today, we'll come back. Okay. I can't even get a full sentence out because you take three steps and you're like, wow, look at that. There's something new over there. Haven't seen that before. Let's go look over here. Fat boy. Fat. Is that what it's called? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying it's fat. Oh no, I like this one. Red. That actually probably be pretty good right now because it's springtime. Red is always money in the spring. Ooh, they got AFCO. We're gonna have to go check that section out. Or they might not have AFCO, but they have an AFCO poster. I want one of these God Series backpacks right here. One of the. I want the real case for when I travel. I have a rod too, but I don't have the real case. So like I put my rods in something protective, but I don't have anything for my reels and they just clack around in my suitcase. Gosh, there's so much stuff in here. I don't care. Abby Garcia. Precision. I wonder if they have Berkeley Bates in here. If they have Max, in, if they have flatworms in here. This is officially the greatest store of all time. I see mag draft swim baits. We need those. All right, guys, I feel like as dudes, we all have the same thing when it comes to girlfriends. Whatever looks the best, whatever's prettiest, you could tell her, hey, you're gonna catch 100 on this. If it's not pink or like a color she likes, she's like, nah, I think I'll pick my own. I think I'll get another one, you know? Oh yeah. Had to talk to Greg about those. I'm sure those will kill crappie. All right, I think we're safe to film it here now. I kind of tried to be a little low key when we first got in here, but I think, it's Texas, you know, nothing goes wrong in Texas. Look, Emma knows, Emma knows what's up. That's why we keep her around. Oh, they have the Ned stuff. These things right here, guys, the little generals, these things are juice on the Ned rig. And then this color too, and like clear water. When these first came out, I caught a crap ton of fish on. This place has like all the good stuff too. They have the gillies, they have a whole bunch of new stuff. $3. Dude, these things are worth, you better win for $3. I mean, that's an okay deal. I'm sure those are probably worth like seven, eight dollars in here. So you can get one for three, why not? Guys, they have so much stuff in here. They have power worms. I feel like a lot of stores normally have power worms. Those are a pretty good bait for everything. Uh, chigger crawls. They don't have that crazy of a Maxent selection, but I mean, Maxent is pretty hard to find. I didn't, oh, they have a whole bunch of little generals. That's pretty much, I think that's all they have at Maxent. I've never seen these before. Rusty crawl. 
that would be juice in Alabama. Our crawfish in one of the ponds I fish are like black and red, and it kinda, it kinda mimics them a little bit. It's not like super, super dark, but I think it's definitely dark enough to catch one on, especially with that max in. It really doesn't matter what you throw. You can throw a turd in the water with max in on it, you catch a fish. So they didn't have that big of a max in selection, but like just looking at some of the other company stuff that they have in here, they have a whole bunch of like the new stuff that I saw iCast last year that Bass Pro and other places don't carry, so. I'm sure Texas probably has a pretty big like parks and wildlife department, so they probably probably make a lot of money, so it probably makes more sense for their companies to send their stuff here versus sending it to Alabama or something. Cause I mean they have a lot of they have a lot of stuff. Ooh, frit sides. They have frit sides and stunners. That's that's rare. I mean for the selection that they have, nowhere in Alabama has this good of a selection in like a basic store. The tackle shops normally do okay. Let me put y'all on some colors real quick. This bone color, money. Red foot side five, money, bluegill pattern, money, chartreuse, money. I've caught fish on this, not only in dirty water, but like bluish colored water. This side, the seven, that's my personal favorite. It dives five to seven feet. These dive two to five, they're, they're okay. I like these more. It seems like I get bit on both, but I, get, I don't know. I like the bigger body more. Let's see what else they got. Oh, they got like the little HD patterns too in here. These things are sexy, I tell you. I'm gonna have to get me. I might have to pick some stuff up, honestly. We're gonna have to come back through and do shopping, do some shopping after the video in. Guys, look. Prop, I haven't seen any, like, I haven't seen that one before. Look at that. What is that, a bat? Oh, it's a rat. I bought an $80 bull shad rat at the Classic this year. This one's $10. We might have to do like a comparison video on an $80 or $100 rat versus a $10 rat. Oh yeah, Chopper, I've never seen this size, Chopper 105. I've only seen the 90 and the 120. Guys, if you can't tell, I love shields. I've never seen a Chopper 105. Then they also have the Bullfrog. They have so many packs. Gosh, I need to get out of here. This place is gonna take all of my money, legit. They have the Chrome. I don't even, I don't have any of these. Well, I have like four or five, but I mean, for my mom and Emma, I have to say I don't have any of them, so I can buy some more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, guys, look at this one. Like, school and shad? Looks just like a shad. Honestly, I mean, it's not white, but I mean, shad have a little bit of chrome to them sometimes. That bullfrog pattern, probably money. Sexy shad. I always struggle to say that. I had a little lisp on there. <laughs> sexy, sexy, I can't say it. I can say sexy and I can say shad, but when I put them together, it doesn't come out right. Look at that one. That one's like a little faded bluegill right there. Dude, that one's cute. That one probably is money right there. We're gonna need that. All the hula poppers, you know, these things are old man's dream, right? I did a video of these probably about two years ago. I bought a four pack from Dick's and I caught fish on all of them. Guys, you know, here lately I've been falling in love with the buzz bait, so I might have to go find the buzz bait section and cop a couple Texas buzz baits because, you know, everything's bigger in Texas and the big mouth bass have to be bigger too. Ooh, we got the chatter baits, jackhammers. Ooh, and they're only 15. Nope, nope, I almost broke that. They're only 15 here. Normally they are 20 at home or so. So we're gonna spend so much money in here. We're gonna have to leave that for another video because we we could spend $2,000 in this store easy. Oh, I didn't even see these up top. The Zeta combos. I have the real, I don't have any with the rod. I need one of those too, don't I, right? And we have a couple of these, the Zeta Z. Then the buzz baits are right here. I, I have to get out of this store, guys. I'm, I'm, thanks for watching, I need to leave. There's a talking bear over there. We're gonna go see that in a second. Alabama rigs, I'm sure those things are money. Like. Any lake down here, you probably catch your PB on an Alabama rig. And look, they have them with these catfish rods. I'm sure people probably buy an Alabama rig and then buy this $120 catfish rod to throw it on because you will break a seven foot medium heavy rod on an Alabama rig, especially if you're hooking to an eight, nine, 10 pounder on that heavy lure, fishing it all day. All right, let's go see the talking bear. They're the same little thing at Bass Pro, but we don't have the cool little talking bear. Ooh, fly reels. Fly reels are so sexy to me, but I don't know anything about them. I have like a $40 combo from Cabela's, but I watch Weston Smith a little bit and he always inspires me to want to like get a fly rod. I'll just get the most expensive one and I just don't understand the prices on them. Like this one's $300 and literally all they do is hold your line. Like all your line is out around your feet normally. And they just hold it, but they're so expensive. But then again, when you think about it, all bait casters really do is kind of just hold your line too. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of, I don't know. I think that's it for the fishing section, guys. We are gonna try not to spend any money. I need to find Emma so she can help me control myself because I will spend $2,000 in this store, like I said, and we really don't want to do that. So, Sportsman 120, Old Town Kayaks. 
That's not the one I have. That one doesn't have the trolling motor or anything. I mean, those are cool and all, but. So 106, this is 10 foot. This is probably all I need because I don't want to have, I put mine in the bed of my truck. I really don't want to have to pull the trailer if I don't have to. I say that's all I need and I have to pedal drive. But, I mean, I couldn't imagine being able to have a trolling motor and just troll everywhere you want to go. Ooh, that's the pedal drive. What size is this? This looks like the 136. That one is huge. Let's see. Oh, that's just the little information sheet. Oh yeah, 132, so 13 foot. 122 pounds, $3,000. But I love that color though. That color would look good. That makes me like want to kill a deer. All right guys, think with me for a second. All right, so say you live in Alabama, you go, you're on the Cahaba, you're fishing. Public land, everything's perfectly legal. You see a 10 point buck, bah, shoot him, kill him, you know good clean harvest clean shot you throw them on the back of this kayak and you get back to the boat ramp you know you're in the country you get back to the boat ramp with your sexy green old town kayak and you have a 10 point buck on the back of it tell me tell me that's not what America is all about this is an American thing this makes me so proud to be here you know <laughs> all right I'm just rambling I could go on and on in this story everything I look at I'm like, oh wow wow a kid in a candy store literally look at these yetis wow 65 what? That's a little expensive though. <laughs> After I just looked at a $3,000 kayak, the $60 Yeti cooler is expensive out of all things. Whenever you get old, I'm gonna get you one of these chairs with wheels on it and roll you around. All right guys, that is it for our chills tour. I came out with a hat and we only spent $120. <laughs> We're gonna come back and do a fishing section. It's getting a little dark. I wanna like, you know, get revived, get re-excited, re-pumped up before we buy some fishing gear out of the shields. But, Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned because me and Emma went fishing and let's just say it was a time. So stay tuned for that. You'll be able to relate if you take your girlfriend fishing or if you're a girl, <laughs> if your boyfriend takes you fishing, you'll see how it went. So that's it for Shields. We left with a sexy Afco hat. Look under the bottle. <laughs> awesome. All right, I think these people are trying to show out with their fancy cars. Sweet. This is my girlfriend Emma. She has been absolutely dying to go fishing with me. Not really, but I kind of forced her to come out here with me today. And we're gonna go out on the pond and we're gonna try to catch some uh, big mouth bass. Hopefully we're gonna break her PB. If she catches a bigger fish than me, break his PB. she's gonna break my PB, which she said in the car. Hopefully she doesn't do that, but there's probably a good chance. Cause you know, anytime you take your girlfriend out fishing, they always catch a bigger fish than you. So she's gonna pick out our lures. We have, I told her kind of what already works out here, but everything else other than that is 100% her choice so we'll let you pick out the lures and then we'll take them out in the pond and try to catch some big mouth bass all right so we got Emma you pick out whatever you want whatever you want to pick yours out first or do you want to pick mine out first yes, okay first. so she's gonna pick mine first uh, jerk baits crank baits and then maybe soft plastics if we're not getting bit on those but we want to start off with like some little moving baits. so go crazy go ham yeah, sweet, perfect choice. <laughs> perfect. It's a little like bluegill pattern for its side. Yeah. That'll work. We'll do that. And then whatever you want for yours. I love this one. I love the orange. Big orange girl. Yeah. Orange your favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> sweet. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yep. All right. Perfect. Action. <laughs> All right, uh, so here, I'm gonna push it in a little bit more and then you can get in it. Yep, I got my crocs. <laughs> got them crocs. All right, we're gonna see how sturdy this box is. <laughs> You're ready to fish. All right, so this quickly might turn into Emma gets through cast and <laughs> sits and watches. <laughs> Because I think we might have to start off like, might have to go get you like a little Zepco or something like that so you can get the dynamic of casting. This isn't even the bait you gave me, it's a different one. Yeah. I love it. You love it? So you think you're just probably gonna hang out and. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. If I catch a fish, then I need you to. I either need you to get the net, pick up your rod, or cast that one right there behind it because there might be another one with it. Uh, that's so nice. There's one. 
<laughs> you gonna put them in the net? I mean, if you want to. Yeah, put them in the net. <laughs> yeah, just extend. Well, pull the handle out. Babe, hurry! Hurry! It's a giant! Hurry! Flip it over. There you go. And just, I'll bring them up to you. Put it like under. <laughs> put it down a little bit, like in the water. You kind of have to like scoop them. This one's strong. Oh, he's strong. Scoop him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring him back to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> babe, lower than, lower than that. <laughs> Woo, we did it. Thanks. You want to weigh him? Yes. Yeah. I knew you were gonna say that. It's like MLF has a little boat official with me. Um, yeah. Two, three? Oh, it's in kilograms. Oh. Did you hold seven. both buttons? No, let's just hold the. Alright, babe, I need you to hold the fish. Uh, you have to. Just hold them by the lip. <laughs> oh, two, four. Hold up. Alright. I said two, three, what'd you say? Two seven? Two four. Two four. So we split them. I'm like going Can we fish until it's dark? Like, not dark, but like oh, sun yeah. goes all the way down. About like 45 minutes or so. Bag, I'm racing the clock, look at them block, watching them block Used to see this on my sleep, when I ain't had shit but my thoughts in the car I really was lost, now I'm public with the soundscapes